is my dog Lucia. And she is 15 years old. She's very old doggy. Two years ago, um, I noticed a small growth between her digits, like it was like a seed of grain. But it grew very rapidly, and when it uh, reached the size of the walnut, I became very concerned and took her to the vet. And it was very upsetting news because after aspiration needle biopsy, the vet told me that it is a mast cell tumor, grade 2. So, uh, that suggested me that um, there are two, I have two options. Either to take the pore completely, to take it completely out, or alternatively they can do the bulking procedure here, uh, remove part of the tumor and then I have to go to Colorado for radiation therapy for follow-up. Only in that case my dog would have a chance for a long time cancer-free survival. Both options, uh, I didn't like both options. So I decided to try my father, the immunotherapy which de was developed by my father in Moscow. My father is an experimental oncologist and he worked approximately 20 years to develop cancer vaccine which was tested in small human clinical trial in Moscow. So, in this case, I started to make injections of Sendai virus directly into tumor here. And immediately after first injections, uh, practically after first injection, the tumor stopped to grow. Um, then I proceeded with further nine injections. And I was hoping that the tumor regress, would regress, but it didn't happen. It was remaining the same size. So, in April I went to the vet again for, to repeat biopsy, aspiration biopsy, and to check if the tumor cells still there. And it was confirmed, tumor still, uh, cells were still there. Then I decided that it's time for surgery. So, in May, the bulking surgery was performed, and so majority of the tumor between those two digits were, uh, was removed. And then approximately two weeks after surgery I inject uh, scar, scar tissue with Sendai virus again. And now, even though that told me that debulking surgery of fast growing tumor useless because it's always regrew very fast. However, in combination with this immunotherapy, it didn't happen. So, a year passed and there is no tumor growth at all. So, the poor is looking healthy. So, it's a happy ending. So, I believe that the same type of therapy can be used for dogs and cats um, as a, uh, as a com in a combination with surgery. And I believe um, that it can stop a tumor even if the bulking, if a radical surgery cannot be done and only the bulking surgery would be possible. That's all. This is my friend Lena Butko. She is a medical doctor from Russia. And the reason I invite her in because I like her, uh, I like to tell her story and she was a witness of this story. It's about my dog Lucia. Lucy passed away last year um, after first video was shot about immunotherapy of mast cell tumor. Uh, she developed after other disease and I have to put her down. However, autopsy didn't reveal any mast tumor cells in the site where the bulk and surgery was done. So I think the therapy was, the immunotherapy was successful. However, the story which I like to tell you now is about her mammary uh, mammary gland tumor. So uh, I remember the story of uh, Olga's dog having a cancer and uh, uh, I remember a lot about uh, her being treated in the uh, vet's hospital at the University of Utah uh, and uh, having surgery and uh, <clears throat> shortly after the surgery she developed two um, nodes uh, in the site of surgery subcutaneously 
and uh, uh, right after we looked at it, Olga started doing her injections with the Sendai virus. And uh, like she said, in, in a month, the first one, the smallest one, was undetectable anymore and it was, both of them, they were totally cured in uh, three months. So never after that she had any problems in the site and, uh, well, I would call it a good success. Yeah, the only thing, we don't have biopsy confirmed that those were metastases. So the fact that they metastases, that we assume they metastases because of palpation and because they were growing. So, however, this story is not confirmed through biopsy, so it's only can be only considered as an oral folklore.